Almost two weeks ago, the largest dairy farm in Ashtabula County caught fire. Immediately, the farming community stepped up to help. Got volunteers showing up to drive. We've got big trucks coming in. Uh, and we've got farms, dairy farms, that have offered to take these. We have to have dairy farms that are willing to take them and milk them and feed them and care for them until we can get things back here for the comps. Well, we were there when the fire was burning. We went back to check on recovery in the days that followed. And today, News 5's Nadine Albasada returned to Ashtabula County to show us where the rebuilding process stands right now and how that community is still helping. Last time we showed you the comp farm, this area was nothing but rubble and debris. But as you can see, they're moving fast with the hope they'll be back open before the snow comes down. Now that it's been a week, how do you feel processing more of what happened? I'm still in shambles. Yeah. But it's coming together. For Jerry Comp, his fourth generation family dairy farm is slowly moving forward after a fire destroyed his parlor where the cows are milked. We're in the middle of trying to rebuild it, just finish and clean up. Following the fire, more than a thousand cattle were sent to other farms in the area because they had to be milked three times a day. Not every cow left the farm. These are the ones that got to stay. That's because they don't have to be milked. After they milk for so long, they get a vacation. So they get to kind of take time to grow their, their calves and their babies. But what's kept Jerry going is the farming community continuously reminding him he's not alone. Very thankful to the community for what they have done. It's, there's been a lot of people that have been very helpful. I just. It's astonishing. Mandy Orahood with the Ohio Farm Bureau says the support started the moment the community got word of the flames. The street was lined with farmers from different areas taking cattle and trailers, but it didn't stop there. It seems right now that everybody is really still making sure that they're here and helping in some way. A GoFundMe was created as well as the Comp Family Farm Relief page. We also have a meal train going, so people are still bringing food because there's a lot of workers here. Mandy says it's because when it comes to farmers, they take care of their own on and off the farm. So I think the first thing is that's just what farm people do. I mean, they they do what they do because they love agriculture. They love feeding the world. They they love the way of life and ag people. I'm just they're just built different. Jerry hopes by November he can get his cows back in the parlor. Reporting in Dorset, Nadina Busada, News 5. They're just built different. I love that.